guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 12 episode 9 of Ascendance of a Book Learn, so it's getting it started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm so glad I'm like, <laughs> this show always makes me cry. I don't know why. <laughs> I get like hella emotional during this show. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. Did I put me in the front? Yes, okay, thank God. Ooh. I'm gonna have a little panic attack. <laughs> Okay. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just go with it. Go along with it. There you go. Because <laughs> you want to get equal pay in it, right? You don't want to get more than him, and you don't want him to make more than you. We want it equally.
No, it's a bookshelf. Her light up, she's so cute. My kid, my child, I love her. Mm -hmm. So it's just the map of a town of the town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on mine, it's still a little prick. Oh my god, you think mine isn't going to get it done in a month? I mean, this is mine we're talking about. You know how great she is at certain things, so she can be able to get it done in a month. Maybe even a week, tops. Exactly like that one? But wouldn't it just be better for her to literally, like... What if she wears pink and then you want the thing to have blue, yellow, and white? That's so gonna, oh my god, clash, my bad. <laughs>
babe. Come on. Yeah, you have to give a fairly price, babe. Hmm, okay. So you both basically have a bank account, which is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, please stop. Mm -hmm. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. hmm. Really clean. Of course. You could have made it with pink. Exactly. She can't have just one. We can use that as pigment. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Well, she is a rich girl, so you know. Mm. Good. <laughs> well, yeah, cause she's the rich girl. She reminds me of one of the girls from Idle Time Pretty Pana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so what? Grandmother, oh my god. <laughs> oh. No, it doesn't. Mm. <sighs> She's actually really nice. Mm, there's someone like her grandfather, but nice though. So, uh, Frida, are you going to hang out with mine and Lutz for the rest of the show?
You never would have assumed someone as cute as her would also have a devour, but you just never know. It seems like it's like, okay, you know how, like, with some big diseases out here in the world today, like HIV, AIDS, STD, um, any really big, big type. It's like one in three or five people might possibly have it. But she is adorable. I really like Frida. But it's still sad that, you know, she has it as well. Because I was assuming that we were never really truly going to meet someone else who also had the devouring. But now in this episode, now knowing that someone else has it, like, it hurts my heart. I wasn't ready for this. Like, no. But she is adorable. And the fact is, both her and mine are the two type of characters that they're not going to let it, um consume and eat away at them they're going to try everything in their power to overcome it and there are people who still do that with any type of disease that is out there today they do it until their last breath and they go out either like a champ or maybe like a coward it just depends on how it is for certain people because what may work for someone like me may not work for someone like you that's the same thing with weight loss um uh, learning new things, almost like anything. It's a different pace and you don't know how much your body can, you know, restore your health and everything. But she's just so freaking cute. But she is 100% exactly like her grandfather. But, oh my god, like, I wasn't imagining. I thought she was going to be... Do I want to call it... <laughs> Do I want to call a child a bitch? A little bit. Because that's what she seemed. Like, from the picture and the opening, I was like, she going to be one of them type bitchy type characters that I'm not really going to like, but I may like her. I don't know. But she's cute. Mm hmm And I'm glad her and mine are friends, too. I mean, I'm glad. Oh my god, so cute! Oh my god, all four of them. I'm glad everything's going really well for mine and Lutes, and the fact that they're now officially getting paid and they have a bank account. And now the biggest thing is that I would love to see for this show, and I don't think they're going to show it in the second winter for episode ten. Yeah. Maybe like, we got like as of next week we'll have like three more weeks with this show I believe. Um, I want them. I want to see these kids go into taxes and stuff because eventually they're gonna get older. They're gonna become adults at as a certain age because it, it was seven years old I believe, and they didn't show up with Tuli and we haven't seen their parents really essentially talk about taxes and how much they would have to necessarily pay for certain things. But with both mine, Lutz, and uh, Freda, I would really love to see that. But it seems like, in my opinion, the taxes thing would be a really on the minor side of the story that it's not that important as much as mine and her story and the devouring and everything. So, I mean, if they just did, like, what, a three, five minute talk on it, then that's fine. Bam. Done. Go on to the next thing. But it was such a really good episode. I do 100% love Freya. I think she's a breath of fresh air. She's the cutest little thing. Just like mine, Tuli, and Lutz. And I'm so happy. Just, ugh, Everything's going so well. But I feel like in episode 10, something's gonna happen. I don't know what. I just hope that people are able to, when spring comes, people are able to buy the paper, essentially possibly making the book. And then, you know, she just sells them and stuff I want this little girl to have everything that she needs and wants in life and I want her to be successful really because she's just so adorable you can't say no to that cute little face like oh my god if you say that no if you say no to that cute little face we have a problem like because look at her 
You just want to hug her. Like, oh my god. You want to hug all four of them because, I mean, they're just so fucking adorable. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode 9 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys. Thank you.